right to them. Hello, Scorpio. How you doing out there? We got a lot of energy going on. Okay. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm Sarah from Divinely You. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading from me. And let's dive right in. From the Sacral Chakra Oracle deck, we got the Mirror card. And from the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck, we got the Clover card. So the Clover is about releasing your guilt. The Mirror card is about perceptions and change. Woo. So I know from my own energy right now, I'm a moon rising and Uranus in Scorpio. And I know uh, Uranus being in Taurus is having an effect on me. And so uh, what happens is when a sign is sort of opposing, we kind of have the, we have like a square, which can be intense. Uh, and so, and Scorpio is a water sign, which is emotional. And so I feel like with this mirror card, which is a perception card and with the releasing our guilt, uh, there's probably a lot of shifting happening with your emotional body. Um, As in how you maybe once viewed your emotional self, maybe you felt guilty because you were emotionally sensitive. That was me for a lot of years. Um, Maybe you are no longer feeling that guilt or you're in a space of letting go of feeling guilty for being emotionally sensitive. When you're a water sign, you're emotionally sensitive, which makes you more empathic. It makes you more intuitive. It makes you more sensitive to emotional energies like water moons. So if the moon is in Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, you maybe feel maybe feel a bit more emotionally sensitive. Um, especially if you're a female and your cycle tends to roll around during a new or a full moon in a water sign. Uh, so, but I feel like with this mirror card, we are shifting our views or our perceptions or how we think about our emotions. Um, like maybe a deeper level of feeling, maybe we are simply accepting that we are emotional and that we are allowed to be emotional because it's a natural human experience to have emotions. Uh, Maybe it's um, just a whole different, there's no map to what you're experiencing with regards to your emotions or your emotional body. Uh, so many different ways that this can be perceived or interpreted. And it's going to be very obviously individualized how this surfaces for you. <clears throat> and so I would really encourage you to journal a lot share, uh, uh, express your emotions, however they come up. Maybe you're somebody who's never cried during a movie and you suddenly notice that you're crying during a movie. Uh, I always cry when goose dies in Top Gun, never fail without fail. I cry every time when goose dies in Top Gun. Always have. Um, (laughs) um, that's just an example, right? Like it doesn't have to be that, like maybe you cry at a wedding. Maybe you've never cried at a wedding and you find yourself crying at a wedding because you're like, oh my gosh, like I feel that love. You feel that ceremonial commitment. Um, Maybe, I don't know. There's just so many ways that this can be interpreted. Uh, So I would say definitely allow and be okay with emotions as they come up and express them as they come up and 
just maybe even just notice without judgment, but be observant of different emotions and that they're surfacing. Maybe there's emotions you've never experienced before. And you're like, wow, that's freaking cool. Uh, I don't know. This is such an interpretive, it's going to be different for everyone type of reading that like, I don't know that I could say all of the infinite ways that it could go. <laughs> um, but I would say with that, like the clover card and letting go of the guilt, it's, there's a lot of like, you feel guilty if you're having a bad day and you feel upset. You feel guilty if you are happy about something that maybe shouldn't be a happy thing. But I think as humans, it's okay to come to the understanding and acceptance that something that might make you happy might upset someone else because that happens frequently, right? We're all different chemically and emotionally. So anyway, I hope you found that to be helpful. It's kind of an intense week in this regard, in this particular reading. Uh, we do have that full moon in Sagittarius coming up, which is a playful uh, release fire sign. Um, <clears throat> You know, we have a uh, Saturn retrograde in Aquarius that could be bringing up a lot of deep stuff. We have Pluto retrograde in Capricorn that can also be bringing up some deep stuff. Uh, we still have Gem uh, mixing up all my words this week. It's kind of funny. Uh, we have Jupiter, Mars, and the asteroid Chiron in Aries, which is a fire sign. Um, and then we have, of course, Mercury going to be going back into Gemini where it's at home there. So there's a lot of dynamic energy going on. So don't be surprised if you're like feeling all kinds of feels. And I really invite you to embrace what you're feeling, what's coming up. Don't feel guilty about it. It's okay. You're a human. You're, you're going to have emotions. We're emotional beings. So if you would like a private reading with me, I encourage you to use the email below and contact me and uh, set that up. And I can bring all the tools in my toolbox to support you and help you through whatever is popping up for you. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sending you a ton of love and I'll see you on the next reading. Have a great week.